side of your screen to start things off. Oh, my apologies. They'll be on the west side of your screen. Looks like Sac State's going to be heading over to the other side here in just a moment. Again, welcome, everybody. Great to have you with us. It's going to be just a lovely day of uh, football on the main soccer field. The pitch out here looking perfect, as always. And I had a chance to meet with both of the head coaches. And great to have a chat with Randy Dedidi. 16th season he has more accolades than i can mention here in the opener but we'll get to it we are underway crowd still coming in on this perfect sunday again for sac state mia shallot ali Fuamatu matu mafala aubrey goodwill calista hardy abigail lopez sammy wong katie bessemer Madeline Doherty, Lexi Raquella, Yasmin Dunn, and Darian Louthen for Sac State. For the runners, again, Holly Hersick, Sole Moten, Penny Smith, Kata Rogeron, Anila Nihito, Rogeli Halzer's daughter, Domi Rodriguez, Karen Flores, Kalia Eichenberger, Yete Zimmer and Chloe Sizemore. Flores right in front of us to Rodriguez. Moten pushes it into the corner. Looks like she may get her boot on it again and does Eichenberger to Flores in the corner. Lexi Raquella gets rid of it shortly. We're just underway here in Bakersfield. The long legs of Eichenberger puts it right in the middle of the pitch. Eichenberger shoved it over, but here's the whistle. And this will go in favor of the Roadrunners. In talking with Coach Didini, you know, Vance, we just had that big match up against the Pac-12 powerhouse. And he said we were in that thing to the very end. More on that in a bit. I want to talk about my discussion with Coach Didini. It's a great talk, great chat. He had a lot to say, loves his players, and they played against the number 22 team in the nation, the Washington Huskies. So here's somewhere the runners have found themselves in a very familiar spot. Penalty kicks, here's a big one. Will it be Zimmer? No, it's not. It's gonna be Halder's daughter, and oh, what a beauty, just wide left. Oh, 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 wow. What a nice looking kick that was. And pretty much puts this Sacramento defense on notice. And Shallot, the goalkeeper, will kick away here. But that was a beautiful strike. And that's going to be. Tugging on the jersey. Soleil Moton. <laughs> Flores. Nice defensive effort there by Sac State. And here come the Hornets. It's a little too much for Hardy to get to. Moten with a nice move there. Disrupted in that ball. Booted out of bounds and a loud banging landing. <laughs> 
Again, just underway here in Bakersfield. I'm Vance Palm. Pleasure to have you all with us today on ESPN+. Plus. It's been a very busy week- weekend on the uh, a week and weekend on the campus of CSU Bakersfield. Ton of activities and webbed with the announcement of their new athletic director Zimmer, able to slow things up for a moment. How about this? Eichenberger, one on five, pulls it back. Rodriguez, Dome. Soleil, Eichenberger, just gets rid of it. Howler's daughter to Smith. Smith. As we mentioned in our pregame, big night here a few nights ago, Thursday evening, the Roadrunners took 21 shots in their victory over Cal State University Northridge. They opened up their Big West Conference play with a big victory here on the main soccer field. Right now, it's the Roadrunners that are putting all the pressure on Zimmer. She's had a great start to this season. That voice you hear close to me is Randy Didini. Into the corner again, and I think Dome will be the first person to get there. No, that's not. It's going to be Nehito. So Nila Nehito tried to run it down, called for an infraction. See it right there. <laughs> Got tangled up, then lifted the hands up like, what, who, me, what? Sac State. 0-6-2 oh, runners, or 5-0. and oh. Right on goal, but knocked out by Hersick. Here's another shot. This one well over the goalpost. Bessemer did a nice job. That's Katie Bessemer, a freshman out of Elk Grove. Ball out of bounds. Raquella. Oh, what a beautiful pass down the near side here to Bessemer. Bessemer. Takes it across the middle, hands it off to Lopez. Lopez. Down to Dunn, and we have a Sac State Hornet that is down for the moment. An aggressive play for the ball, but deemed clean. Deemed clean by the officials, but she's down for a moment. She took a decent hit, Abigail Lopez did. She's a sophomore out of Elk Grove. She's all right. Take a look at it right here. Lopez tries to get it to the outside. And Cataro Giron 
Came in strong. And I stand corrected. Here is a free kick. Goodwill hammers it in. Aubrey Goodwill. An absolute rocket. And Sac State with the early 1-0 lead. Aubrey Goodwill out of Rescue, California, a senior. Came over from UC Davis, and that's just an absolute golasso. That ball just screamed Pat past Persick. The Roadrunners will have to regroup quickly at the 36 minute mark. 1 0, Sac State is up. Flores, Rogeron, Smith to Zimmer. A lot of activity on the far touch line. And just knocked out by Sizemore. Sizemore, one of the local players, Frontier High School. I had a chance to interview her last week. Post game after that Boise State match. Splendid day here. You know, Anela Nahito's game winning goal Thursday night was her first as a roadrunner. Get to Zimmer and Kalia Eichenberger. They both scored their second goals. Second time in the last three games also. Here comes Sac State again. This time trickles out of bounds. You know, talking about Zimmer, she also recorded her second assist. Now she's tied for the team lead in scoring with six points. So Yete Zimmer, the German, enjoying her start here at CSU Bakersfield. Eichenberger. Over to Moten. Moten looks, floats one across, and just too much for Zimmer. But what a great stay. Will she get another one? Oh, Zimmer. One of those players that is just dangerous from everywhere, everywhere. Yet to Zimmer. Ooh, that was close. So after the Hornets score, the Roadrunners come back with a strong attack. Goalie Shallots, her second long kick to midfield. Here comes Flores. Flores from the right side. Puts it off the foot of Moten, Moten. Eichenberger, the long-legged Eichenberger. Oh, what a sweet move that was. Right in front of her teammates and more dazzle. Eichenberger, a fantastic display of artistry. Yeah, Eichenberger put on a show. Look at this. Wow. And now, corner kick with Zimmer doing the honors. All the Hornets well aware of number 11. And it just sails over her head. Oh, a header that goes over the top of the goal. So a great start here. A lot of action, a lot of activity. Sac State up 1-0 on an Aubrey Goodwill goal on a penalty kick. But the Roadrunners seem undaunted. They keep putting the pressure right back on goalie Mia Shallot. And Shallot will now 
Uncork another one. It's a nice header there. We'll see. And no, it cannot be caught by Callista Hardy. And it'll be Roadrunners. Moten throws it in. Eichenberger. Eichenberger. Blocked. Eichenberger again takes another shot with her left. What a force Kalia Eichenberger is for the Roadrunners. She's the tallest player on the team at 5'11 with her boots on. She's an even six, no doubt. An aggressive player, not afraid to mix it up at all. I've seen her come right across this area in front of all the scores table and get awfully physical. Sac State, fortuitous header. Broken up by the runners for a moment. Again, headed forward by Darian Louthan. Coach Vecchio in his fourth season had a great discussion with him pre-match. Just off the foot of Dome Rodriguez, Sac State. Sac State pushes it back, puts it on Goodwill's foot. She has the one and only goal so far. And man, it was a cracker. Roadrunner, some nice defense there on the far side. Comes back on the foot of Dome Rodriguez. She puts it to Eichenberger. Three on two. Eichenberger over to Flores. Flores pushes it down the line. Opportunity for the Roadrunners. Ends up with Eichenberger again. There's some nice defense by Sac State. Goodwill comes in and boots it out. Roadrunners on the move. And looks like we have our first substitution of the afternoon. And Shyla Soon out of Hawaii will be into the match. And it looks as though she's coming in for Sammy Wong. So Wong out soon in. Jersey number 13 as she jogs onto the pitch. So Lelly Halder's daughter lined up over there with Zimmer. Halder's daughter had that big strike almost go in at the very beginning of the match. Her and Zimmer both lined up out there as we see Sammy Wong coming off right in front of us. Hope she's okay, a little banged up. We're under the 30 minute mark. Ref, that's more than 10. Can you count 10? Here we go. Lelly, great stop up front, great save, but it's in goal. Roadrunners, a great stop by Shallot, but it came off the hands and goal, I believe that may have been Sizemore. Here's a good look at it. A beautiful strike by Halder's daughter. A nice stop. I thought it was Sizemore. I'll check with Mickey Kushine. Flores, Karen Flores, jersey number nine. So Flores with the goal, nine from seven. So we're tied at one. 
Lily Hall's her daughter. He, she puts her shots right on goal, and Shallot made a great stop, but that ball bounced off her gloves, and Flora is there to clean it up. Now Flora's over to Moten. Moten down the near side, right in front of us, shoves it down where there's nothing but some nice-looking grass down there, but zero. So we're tied at one here at the 29-minute mark. The runners have been really attacking these nets. They've had 14 corner kick attempts against Cal State Northridge Thursday night. So they've been taking a lot of shots. And it looks as though Ozma Marzugi's coming in. Merzugi in. And a foul is going to be called on Darian Louthan, and the Sac State staff does not agree, thought it was all ball. Nifty move, actually, by Flores. She quickly pushed that one forward, but was taken out as well. Moten. A great ball there, and it's lively, and it's in. The runners score again. There was a wall of Sac State players in front of the score. So we think that it's Hilder Jonas daughter. Yes, it is. It's a goal by Hilder Jonas daughter, number 14. Sole Moten did the work, but it's Jonas daughter. Here come the runners. Boy, these shots on goal that keep popping off the hands of Shallot have turned into two big time goals here in the first half. That's pushed down this near touch line. It was intended over there for Lavacos, Eichenberger. Moten not content to go back with it, wants to keep pushing it forward, and it may turn out to be the right decision. And it's going to be Moten, no, it's going to be Merzugi. Infraction call against the Roadrunners. Looks like we'll have substitution coming in for Sac State and for the Roadrunners. Sarah Smith coming in. Sarah's out of Brentwood, California. And for the Roadrunners, ultimately it's going to be Ryan Acosta from Bakersfield right here. Last played for the Renegades up on the hill. And how about this? Callista Hardy. She had a clean look. She was breaking to take her shot. Whistle blows. Aubrey Goodwin had the first goal for Sac State. She absolutely rocked it. And Goodwill up again. Also 5'11", she and Eichenberger, 5'11", superstars for their teams. Everybody.
Everybody's lined up. Coach Dedini got up out of his chair and took a walk west. I'm sorry, south. And here's Goodwill. Persick has already seen Goodwill's cannon earlier in this match. Here comes another one from Goodwill. Another one. Another rocket from Goodwill. That was in the upper right corner. Our viewers may have heard the reaction from one of the Sox State players in my microphone. Apologies. <laughs> and we're tied at two. And Sac State with two cannon shots from Audrey Goodwill. Wow. Watch this shot right here, everybody. Boom. Upper right corner. Never a doubt. And we're back at it. Tied at two, under 25 minutes left in this first half. A great Sunday afternoon friendly between the Hornets of Sac State and a beautiful pass right there by Acosta. Here come the Roadrunners. Labacos. And there's a nice stop right there by Shallot. A battle for it. No whistles yet. Finally we get them. Maya Fortune is going to be Looks like Maya's coming in for Lily. Haller's daughter out. Fortune in. So a really nice job by Lily Haller's daughter. And she gets the love from the coaching staff and everybody else. Her shots on goal caused two goals. Oh, man, corner kick right in front of the goal. Broken up by the Hornets. Aubrey Goodwill, not only the sharpshooter for the Sac State Hornets. As I mentioned, 5'11 also, so she plays a formidable position there on these corner kicks. Here's another one. Punched out. Twenty-two and a half left. Another corner kick opportunity. Floated out there. All kinds of activity in front of the net. Whistle blows, and it's going to be an infraction on the Roadrunners. The left foot of Kaylee Covert out of Murrieta for the Roadrunners put that one in play. Tied at two. What a great Sunday afternoon match this is. Both these opportun uh, opportunity for both of these teams. Right as the heat of the battle in conference starts, they are able to come out on this Sunday afternoon, on a perfect Sunday afternoon in California and in the Valley for two Valley teams get to enjoy this beach weather. Jasmine Brown's going to come in for the runners. And Dana Rustum is going to be coming in for the Hornets. It's if you were to go off just possessions alone, and the pressure of the possessions, it's been all Roadrunners, but we're tied at two. Some penalty kicks for the Sac State Hornets, both taken by Aubrey Goodwill. A reason this thing is we're tied at two. Nahito out, Brown in for, sorry, Bowman in. 
And she sees defensive action right away. The two substitutes get into it right away. Here's Sarah Smith. Nice, nice battle for that ball. And it's still in, actually. It was whiffed by Moten, but it actually, the wind and the spin actually kept it in. But to no avail, it finally bounces out down the near touchline. Under 20 to play here. In this first half, we're tied at two. The fans have been treated to a nice one so far. If you're just getting with us on ESPN Plus, great to have you here today. I'm Vance Palm, joined by everybody in the CSUB athletic staff on our direction under Kyle LaPierre and all of his team and ESPN Plus. What a great opportunity to be here to watch two solid, solid soccer teams here in the state of California. And as we mentioned in our pregame both of these teams looking to gain some respect in their respective conferences and they keep playing like this it's gonna happen Battle for it on the far touch line. As we have another substitute coming in for the Hornets. This time it's Shawnee Gloria out of Hawaii. Nice defense out there by Sac State. Abigail Lopez comes up with a steal. And here come the Hornets. A sh pass across the middle. And it is deflected and knocked out of bounds by a Hornet. So here comes Shawnee, a Gloria in, and Lopez will come out. Under 18 to go here in this first half. A 2-2 first half so far. What a show for these fans. Okay, Sac State. Gives it away, runners. Okay, if you're a spoiled runners fan, you're thinking, hey, we haven't had that ball Threatening that net in a while. Kiara Oliver in for the Roadrunners. Liberty High School megastar. Furukawa coming in soon. Superstar out of Independence High School. Taft College. One of the more highly decorated local players for the Roadrunners. Speaking of such, Oliver battling as well. Furukawa and Bryn Phillips, also from Bakersfield. Two, so there are three local players on the pitch right now for the Roadrunners. Coach Vecchio 
Well, a lot of a lot of local feel out there right now. Furukawa Independence High School from Taft College. Bryn Phillips out of Liberty High School. Oliver, Liberty High School. There's Oliver battling for the header. Furukawa gets her boot on it. And what an excellent play by Holly Hersick as the speedy Ariana Nino was heading right at her. Oh, correction, Yasmin Dunn was coming right at her. And Hersick makes the decision to come out. 15 minutes remain in the first half. We are tied at two. Hersick a little banged up, telling the coach she took one in the shin, so she's a little hobbled. Don't know that anything's going to happen there, though. She's become the stalwart go-to goalie, but she is banged up. Shallow will kick this back into play. Under 15 here in this first half. You can see the upper right part of your screen, that flag. It's blowing. It's a beautiful breeze, nothing too crazy. Comes right back at her. Hey, girls, you're too deep. You're too deep on goal kick. You can hear Coach Didini telling his horn, it's way too deep on this goal kick. And it looks like Hersick is more banged up than we thought. She was talking to the assistant coaches about it. And she mentioned to her coach that her shin was hurting. And I wasn't aware that it was... Well, I saw her, I should say, I saw her turn around after speaking to the coach and kind of walk back to her goal, and she was kind of like shaking it off, but uh, perfectly timed water break. Okay. Tied 2-2 with 14.09 remaining in this first half. You're watching some great collegiate California volleyball here on ESPN2. Back right after this. isn't born. It's built over time. For over 65 years, Hercules Tires has been providing the muscle to move more drivers. Whatever the vehicle, whatever the terrain, and we back it with a powerful protection plan. So wherever the road or the trail takes you, we have the selection, value, and strength to get you there. Hercules Tires. Ride on our strength. Here's a look at what happened to Holly Hersick. She comes in and it looks like that left shin is what she was talking about with the coaching staff. So during the water break, Holly Hersick comes out and the sophomore from Tucson, Arizona, Flavia Burrell, Flavia Burrell in goal. Kit number one. So Burrell in at the 14.09 mark. So there's a storyline for you. Hersick's just been stellar, but she is banged up. And we're back in live action. Beautiful action put on that pass. Phillips tries to run it down, and it'll come back. But Shallot quickly gets rid of it. Nice battle for that ball right out at midfield. Jonas' daughter already has a goal. Furukawa, great job by Devin.
stolen by the Hornets. Smith right in front of us. Under 13 to go. Tied at two here in the first half. Nice play there by Nicola Labacos. Oh, what a beauty. Jasmine Dunn across and broken up out there. Oh, what a nice, nice play by Kiara Oliver. And the Liberty Superstar did a really, really nice job and took the pressure off of Flavia Burrell. A great de defensive effort out there by Oliver. Jasmine Dunn made a perfect pass right in front of the goal. And here come the runners again. Handled by Acosta. Covert. Fortun has it stolen. Down the far touchline ends up being Roadrunner possession. Ariana's going in. That's Nino for Sac State. It'll remain Roadrunner possession. Nino, the senior from Pleasanton, California, went to Foothill High School. She's She'll be coming in next. We're still tied at two. Just over 10 minutes to play here in this first half. Really nice Sunday match. A lot of activity already. They flatten things out, the Hornets do. Gives themselves an opportunity. Can the defense for the road owner step up? No, a missed opportunity there, but Burrell there to clean things up for the road owners. That ball dangerously trickled close to the net. Burrell. Acosta runs it down. Oh, a beautiful pass over to Labacos. Fortune has that shut down by Shania Gloria. Nice up. Bowman decides to push it back to Furukawa. Furukawa, nice pass. Merzugi back to Furukawa. Oh, beautiful advance there. And Bryn Phillips will toss it in. Fortune. Sac State steps up on defense for a moment and just kind of pushed out of the play. Bryn Phillips. So Ariana Nino will come in. And looks like she may be coming in for Hardy. She is. Calista Hardy will come out, the sophomore from Rancho Cucamonga. Etiwanda High School. Ileana Murguia will come out. I mean, so will come in for Hilder, Jonas' daughter. And Jonas' daughter greeted by everyone with high fives, low fives, everything, saying, hey, great goal. We're tied at two. Oliver in the middle of all of this. Labacos. Oh, 
Covert down the far side and might have gone off of her and I think that's what Doherty is explaining to the official that actually went off of Kaylee there ref don't know that she used her first name but and Heather Tarabini will be coming in next junior out of Stockton California Bear Creek High School for the Sac State Hornets Here's a corner kick at the seven and a half minute mark remaining in this first half. Kaylee Covert floats one and it's a header. Ooh. Just wide. Well, that looked good. Take a look at this right in your living room and it just goes wide enough for Charlotte to have a big deep sigh of relief. And Jasmine Dunn comes out for the first time. She's been out there a long, long time this afternoon. She walks off for Sac State. And they're gonna call Merzugi. Six and a half remain in the first half. Goodwill. Come on, come on. Off of her back, it went off of the back of Doherty. So even from midfield, the dangerous leg of Aubrey Goodwill went off of Doherty's back and fortunately for the Roadrunners, Burrell right there. Cal State again. Oliver, can't she get it? Zips by her. Bowman with the header. Tarabini has just come in. She and Bowman battle down there. It's still in play. Nice defensive effort there by Sac State. Heather Terabini is coming and made a difference right away. Under five to go in this first half. We're tied at two. Four goals and some great ones at that. Aren't they all great, though? Oh, there's a nice job by the Roadrunners. The Bacos just comes in and takes over. <laughs> last non-conference match of the season for both Sac State and CSU Bakersfield. And Sac State a little discombobulated here, deep in their own territory. And the Roadrunners, let's see if they can take advantage of it. And Sac State gets out of trouble. There was some confusion and some mistakes made. And they were able to kind of get it at least back to midfield. Keep him here, Heather. Drop. Holly. Ogia. Aggressive. Midfielder for the Roadrunners. Jersey number 28. Oliver will throw it in. 
put back in play. All of Cal State looking for the handball call. Coach Dadini. Questioning the handball call. Merzugi. From the left foot, just too much, and Shallot there to scoop it up. Just over two minutes left in this first half. Bowman able to kind of take her time, wasn't really feeling any pressure from Sac State, so able to kind of just casually scoop it up. 145 and counting, remaining here in this first half. Tied at two, hope you're enjoying this great Sunday afternoon contest on the campus of Cal State University Bakersfield. Pleasure to have all of you with us today. Runners looking for one last opportunity here, at least one last one. With 115 left, Coach Vecchio. It's up. Nice effort there by Acosta. But there's exactly one minute remaining. Sacramento State staff looking for something here. Kurokawa, nice job by Devin. Half a minute remains. Sac State. Thrown in. Terabini. You can hear the public address announcer making the call here, and that's going to do it at the end of the first half here. Tied it to a great first half of soccer between Sacramento State and Cal State University Bakersfield. We'll be back in a few moments on ESPN+. Plus.